This episode of DNews was proudly made possible by the all-new 2015 Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan, it's a Subaru. Can you fake hiccup? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. I sound like a dying cat or something. Hey guys, Tara and Nick here for DNews. And I don't know about you, Nick, but I like to drink. Sometimes a little too much, but I always notice whenever I have a little too much to drink, I get violent hiccups. Does that ever happen to you? Whoa, well, I ironically hiccup after I burp. I that's, know, I'm not really sure what's going on. Yeah, that's weird. But it's one of those things you never really think about until it happens. So I started wondering this weekend, after drinking a little too much, why does this happen? Why do we get hiccups? And what's actually happening when we have them? Right, so you may have noticed that when you get hiccups, it's basically just your body taking in a huge breath of air. It's essentially an involuntary contraction of your diaphragm, followed by a sudden closure of your vocal cords. And that combination is what causes the hiccup sound. But what causes your body to have that spasm all of a sudden? Typically, most hiccups are caused by either eating or drinking too much too quickly. And when that happens, your stomach, which is right below your diaphragm, becomes distended or bloated, and it starts to irritate your diaphragm to the point where it contracts. That's why carbonated drinks are notorious for causing hiccups, because the carbonation in them expands your stomach and that irritates your diaphragm. Most of the time, yes. But it's not always that simple. Sometimes hiccups are caused by disturbances in the nerve pathway that connects from your brain to your diaphragm, which explains why things like sudden temperature changes or certain emotional states can spark them. They're perfectly harmless, but in the case of diabolic hiccups, which is a real word, which lasts two months or longer, they're usually a sign of serious illness. Stroke, tumors, infections, and multiple sclerosis have all been linked to diabolic hiccups, including problems with your spinal cord or any of the structures surrounding your diaphragm or chest wall. Mm. Fun fact, the world record for hiccups is held by Charles Osborne, who had them for 68 years straight, which I would not wish on my worst enemy. Well, what's crazy is that even though they're such a common thing, nobody's really sure why we actually get hiccups. As far as we know, they have no known function in the body, so a lot of scientists chalk it up to a malfunction in the nerves that control our breathing. There's also another popular theory that they're a product of evolution, and at some point or another, they actually did serve a purpose. This theory actually makes a lot of sense. The idea is that because humans walk upright, we have gravity to help us swallow food, but our four-legged ancestors didn't have that, so food would often get stuck in their throats. Some scientists theorized that a lump of food in your throat could have been pressed down on a nerve, triggered a hiccup, and then a sharp intake of air would create a vacuum strong enough to push the food into your stomach. Mm, that makes total sense. Yeah. So here's the question of the hour then, how do you get rid of them? Turns out there's tons of home remedies out there from drinking water while standing on your head to having a friend scare you. But the ones that really work are the ones that interrupt your breathing pattern. So even though drinking water does usually help, it doesn't really matter how you drink it. Interestingly, the most touted method for curing hiccups is holding your breath because that is the most direct way to control your breathing muscles. For acute hiccups, absolutely. But if you've had them for a while, like longer than two days, 48 hours of hiccuping, then you may want to visit a doctor because that sounds awful. Yes, it really does. What about you guys though? What's the longest you've ever had the hiccups? And how did you finally get rid of them? Let us know in the comments down below. And hey, you're a man of science, Nick. Where can people find your stuff? Absolutely, you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com backslash Nick Uhas. We have a show called Nickopedia. Awesome, well thank you for joining us and as always, thank you guys for watching.